Behind us is a board game shelf. Now we asked you to send us your board game shelves and now we are here to destroy them! Get ready to get roasted! What's up, everybody? My name is Nick. I'm Mike. We are the Brothers Morphin. Yeah, we're gonna be roasting people's shelves. We're so, a couple of people. different things. This is all in good it's for fun. fun. We're just poking good Joke. fun. We did specifically put a call out a while ago, like, hey, we want to roast your shelves. Send us pictures of your shelves. And people did. So these people also knew what they were getting into. Yes. A lot of people were like, do your worst be brutal. Multiple people specifically said, roast me daddy. Also on top of that, make sure to like this video because we got a lot more submissions than we were expecting. Yes. We were expecting like 15 to 20. We got like around 100. Around 100 people sent in So pictures. if this is something you're interested in watching, please send this video up so we know to make more of these. We're not Indeed. gonna cover every single thing no. that we got. We're gonna hope to do more, but we wanna know that you're interested first. So thumb this video up. There will also be an email in the description of this video if you would like to also potentially be roasted in the future. Indeed. Check that, send some pictures of your shelves and just know that you signed in. You signed in for the pain zone. <laughs> All right, so here we got our first one right here. Okay, so let's take a, let's take a quick look. So what are some trash games on here? Um, first of all, I love the printer. Yeah. You, you gotta love the printer right You just right gotta love the next. practicality of like, you still have to live in a home. You have to have a printer. <laughs> we all have to have a printer. I don't know why. This is actually a pretty darn good shelf. I it's, like the different, tight. are these different Rubik's Cubes up here? Uh. Yes. Oh, there's like pure white ones? My God, you're a genius. This okay. is a genius, right? Okay, Looking so around. now now it's a bit of a flex. <laughs> it's a it's bit just of a little a bit of a flex in the middle. It's just like, oh yeah, by the way, I can do this real good. Oh man, this, this actually, prison's got some, some that. pretty great I know, games I can't. Here. I don't know I if know, I can trying to think slam of, the games. Trying to find one here that I think is absolute trash. You could call some games. You have the crew you and do. the new crew. Get rid of the old Get crew. Get rid of the old space for your shelves, all right? We don't want to be a hoarder here. All right, Mikey, so give this first one a rating. All right, so on this first one, you know, they keep it pretty tight down top. It's a little loosey up top. I'm going to give it four and a half upside down pyramids. Okay. Okay, so this is a uh, board game via, you know, a doomsday prepper. <laughs> all right? This is, the, some people have a bug out bag. This is a bug out board game collection. I think you forgot the shelves in this one. Yeah. Um, <laughs> this is more like roast my tote. They're, they're just in an... <laughs> <laughs> There's also board games just in a in a, in a freaking bag? suit bag. This is in a body that is, bag. That is for a blazer, <laughs> sir or ma'am. That is not for stuffing as many small board games as you can into <laughs> The games inside the totes are not they're, bad. They're good. Yeah, we got a, a got a terrifying Mars. We got a whole bunch of different stuff. Uh, what's right. this one? Oh, Arge of the Consortium. I don't think I've heard of that game. I've heard of that. Um, Inish is weird. I don't know about that. Not that like it's like weird. It's just not. Here's it's the a thing, funky the, game. The collection itself is pretty it's good. Solid. It's I'll just, give you this. It's pretty diverse. Yes, indeed. Some stuff. There's, there's a lot of magic. This is the this is the if it fits it sits. Yes, you know, very uh, much situation so. for board games. That's nice. I'm gonna give this one. Mm, Let's give it an eight out of six bananas. <laughs> That's like pretty that. good. Yeah. That's pretty good. You would have gotten nine, but the, the blackout uh, yeah. clearly see through sheet. That sets you back. <laughs> Sheer a little. curtain is not blacking sets out anything. Back. <laughs> okay. So, okay. okay. So Ooh. here's the thing a couple people do this. You can't just put your dog in the picture right. and act like you're then safe from getting roasted. No. This is a very cute beagle. It looks like. I think so, but you know what? Beagle? We're not here for beagles. 10 out of 10. Nick, I, in post, I want you to blow that dog out. It's I don't, okay, want, I don't out. want the dog distracting us. All right, you can't just put dogs on the internet. Uh, I will say, dude, everyone's mom has this cookbook. Yeah, dude. <laughs> everyone's mom has this cookbook right here. There's a lot. We've got a TV cookbook, Cooking yep. for Two. Okay. Healthy family cookbook, okay. so Cooking for Four or Five. Um, and then down beneath it, a nice casual These are classic. Level. These are the classic games. These are like the, the yes. Battleships of Sorry. And then I think a spice rack. I think that one thing is a spice oh, rack. Oh, this right so here? Back to cooking. Yeah. Uh, so then they had another shelf right here. Oh, I, okay. I do love the watering cans and stuff. You, you never know. Here. Now, granted, up here there's plants and stuff, yes. but like I, it, just, it cracks me up that there's watering cans on this It's just shelf. the practicality of board gamers. You're like, listen. It's a storage system. I know a Calax is like seemingly designed for board gamers, but it just holds whatever right? you want. You can get Splendor right out of there. What's first this of game all. called Balance Beans? Uh, I want to try it. Balance That's the problem. Beans? We can't be meek. Yeah. I bet you you're putting beans on a balance beam. Nah. Nice little collection. Also, um, Ooh, um, um, cupcake. cupcake tins. Cupcake tins. <laughs> cupcake you know. tins. The, this should be on the cooking they shelf. For, oh, yeah. What are you doing? What are you doing? Okay. So this one is. Pretty decent. It's yeah. pretty darn decent. I'm gonna give you five dead house plants out of <laughs> a possible seven. All right, this is actually our good friend Ruel. Oh yeah, Ruel. Rubu. Oh. Okay, first of all, Ruel. This is right here at the bottom. 
this is the this is the reality of every filming space ever. Yes. You can only see to right here. You know what's down here? Chaos. Uh, okay, so we'll we'll not judge Ruel on his floor games. No, we can judge Ruel because there's one sheet of paper or a punch board with exactly one thing missing. What is this? I don't know. What is this? What is that? Oh no, it's like a, it's a print and play thing. I thought it was like one, uh, just a one missing piece. <laughs> He's like, I only need He's this like, piece. This is fine. Yeah, I can throw the rest of this game away. See, is there any, we haven't had any like, man, this game's, I really dislike this game on here. No, we're everyone, too much. Here's the thing, everyone generally has relatively good taste in games. Once you get past Dark Tower, Heroes of Land, Air, and Sea, pass. Blood Rage, oh. pass. Twilight Imperium, pass. That's true. You do have Mechs vs. Minions behind that, it seems, maybe? Yeah, I think so. Maybe that's no. redemptive. I'm gonna give this one 12 out of six beards. That makes sense. Okay, Mikey, one thing I really yeah. like this one is the closet makes, because it's so much lighter than everything else, it looks like some weird board game portal. Yeah. <laughs> you, can, you can beam right to, like, right? you know when you're kids, you always want to have like secret tunnels to your friend's house. So this person's clearly a musician. They got like all these guitar pedals down here. I don't okay, know again, a flex is just like, oh, I'm sorry, I guess I shred mostly. I guess I should put how much I shred I guess in I this shred one. most of the time, I guess, and then Gosh. I just play like big heavy board games other times. <laughs> I was like, guess. we get it. We get Wait, it. The inferior to complex. Why do you need so many pit pedals? Dude, don't. What do these do? Why do you need so many different ones? It's the same question about us and board games. Because no. one makes what makes it go. There's so what makes it many. Go, wow, wow, wow. What make it, it makes it go. Why can't you have one pedal that does all those things? That'd be insane. First of all, okay, Underwater Cities and the expansion. I know it's a big expansion. Get them into one box. Yeah, real we talk, We don't need though. multiple boxes for expansions, okay? It's just, if that's why you need a, a freaking portal to a second dimension over yeah, there. Yeah, real talk. Because you don't have enough room because you got multiple boxes when you'll need one box. So let's look at this portal room here. Let's, let's see what we got in here. Okay, so we got like some classics. We, yeah. I will say, well, I guess, pick, pick a direction. We got vertical, Ooh. we got horizontal, we yeah. got a mix in between. I guess so you're trying to fit everything well, in there. It's like it's like the mirror universe in Doctor Strange where it all keeps shifting around. Yeah, that's what it like, feels it's like. It's blurry because it's actually in motion. Uh, I not say, back every, everyone's been having pretty similar taste to us, which is pretty good. Old it's been, school raw, couldn't afford I think the old new school, one. I couldn't afford, afford the new one. one. <laughs> too, much, too much money in pedals. <laughs> too much money in pedals. Favorite pedal though, if this is you, what's your favorite one? What's your favorite you pedal? have one that you're like, when I hit this thing, and, and this write out level. what sound it makes. This is gonna be 34 discarded wah wah pedals out of a potential 60. <laughs> wow. Oh, printer. Oh, printer. Printer. What is the plan printer. with the printer? on the board game shelf. Do you need to be able to like, I'm gonna print out this game and immediately play it that fast? So this is this is a pretty, you got <sighs> we got some masking tape right on the shelf right there, just in case you got well, tape on one of these boxes. It's for all the print and plays that you're that's, clearly that's making. A good point. This, this is pure efficiency. There's a pen, there's a pen for making notes pen. on errors on the print and play, there's a tape for taping together the print and plays. You have a, a infinity gauntlet. <laughs> for know? bringing the power you of space it? and time so this to is the a, print and play. Not a huge collection, but it's a lot of, no, they got, can't. someone here has got a, a bit of a Simon Kickstarter problem, yeah. I think. Do we need to talk? We got the others, Rising Sun, Onk, Marvel United, the big Sentinels and stuff like that. A the lot of Godfather. big box versions of the game, like this giant version of Buddha Dune Imperium, which is a bad Kemet. game. Godfather, another Simon so game, stuff. Big Kemet, Eclipse Second Dawn, a lot of Kickstarter stuff. Ooh, Fuche Magnet, you got, you hate to see you it. You hate to you see it. I was gonna say, right up it. until the bottom shelf where the wheels absolutely fall off, <laughs> minus Teotihuacan and Brass. No, what, I can't get it. This is pretty good. This is Carnegie, Brass, yeah, Teotihuacan, Takanu, CO2. But Bobby the bookends. The book Eclipse ends. and Fuche Magnet, get those out of there. The lights next to the shelf give me anxiety. Why? I have their orbs and their different heights, but they're not hanging. It's, it's a USB symbol. This person invented the USB. Oh, man. That's, See? That's why I got that money. But I'm going to give you four out of one and a half uh, USB plug-in. <laughs> oh, ooh, the old oh, school hero scape. Hero scape. Wow. Hanging on to that. That's called the, I don't need a 401k. I've got hero scape. Thank you very <laughs> you much. I've got hero. Okay. Again, there's, there's a lot of stuff. Okay. First of all, what's in this post office box? I need... Just there's so much stuff on all these shelves. Every shelf has like extra stuff on the shelf. Yeah, like let's commit to one hobby right now. I mean, we've got uh, just, we've got four, looks like to go bowls yeah. from like a, a, your local, a rice bowl spot. Yeah, your local restaurant. Um, a bag full of bags next to with, it. With something for downforce in it, by the way. It's an <laughs> yeah. old discarded scorecard and a pencil for downforce. Okay. Like that's there's rad. A, there's a clothes hanger here. It's like one clothes hanger. Uh, that's doubling as a first player marker. Uh, yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> this we got, we got the top of a tote. 
<laughs> no toe to speak of. <laughs> no toe to speak of. Just a lid. Just the top of a Listen, toe. Listen, it's like Tupperware. It's like some at some point you end up with only your lids or only your bottom. Also, we got a little bit of painting station. This yeah. is my doubles of painting station. And so what, what's our, okay, our, oh, okay, our water jar okay. is Tostitos Chunky Salsa Mild. We'll be reusing here. All right, this so is just tighten it up. The game it itself, up. honestly, fine. We got okay. like tons and tons of good games. Do many whatever. Um, Council 4, your favorite? I hate it. Uh, it's one of Mike's least favorite gaming experiences playing Council it's 4. It's honestly the gaming experience, though. That's a me thing. It's a me thing. All, All right, right, here's the thing. Mike, give this one a rating. All right, this is going to be, this is going to be uh, four and a half gallons <laughs> of, of paint water. <laughs> <laughs> of used paint water. All right? Now, you can drink it. I wouldn't. I, you can. You can drink a lot of things. <laughs> one time. <laughs> Just <laughs> once. <laughs> uh, okay. Okay. Hold okay, on. so I was, again, kind of like the last one, a little too much going on. Too much. We got hats and lanyard storage. All right, first of all, second time, Underwater Cities and the expansion. Look at this. You're not using the other box. Throw that box away. Oh, cool. we got candles in here? Okay. What sense are these candles? I need to know. One's red. Ooh, archaeology. They've got some good games. The Exit Games I'm not a huge, huge fan of. Yeah. Tote on the shelf with games in the tote. Take them out of that tote. Put them back on the shelf. Not everyone has the same amount of space. That's no, okay. no, no, no. All right. But it's like, we've got this. Granted, everything gives me anxiety. I have anxiety. <laughs> this is freaking me out. You've got Noel with lanyards and hats and also a hat just on top of a game. Yeah. In shrink. And you got the TV and you've got a haunted clock and 3D printed stuff and dragons. It's just too much for me. A little too it much. It overwhelms. It's overwhelming. All right. Games though, good games. Good per, games. Per let's, usual. Let's, just, let's get a bit of Swedish design in there. Per we, usual. All right. Games we're gonna are good. we're gonna pare it down. We're gonna go a little more Spartan. Expansion box has got to go. Get the them same together. Box, you know? yeah. All right. This one. Hmm. Hmm. I'm gonna give it. I'm gonna give it four. No. No. I'm gonna give it twelve out of seven. Ayas from um, Three Ninjas. Oh, that's good. Yeah. Okay, again, okay, listen. you can't just put a dog in here listen. and expect like you're not gonna get roasted. Your dog is perfect, your shelves are trash. Our, our dogs are off screen where they belong. Um, look at the dog though, disappointed <laughs> in their owner, saying like, we could go for walks, but you hear about that board game life, all right? They are like, judging you. You're really you. making me do this? What could we possibly <laughs> roast that your dog is not already doing? You're taking a picture. I know I'm in the picture. This picture isn't of me, is it? <laughs> there are no framed pictures of the dog, but there is absolutely a framed shadow box of their play of Pandemic Legacy. Which I do like. I'm not going to lie. I, mean, I, I, do, I do like the shadow but, okay, box Okay, just go from Pandemic here. Legacy. Go down the dog real quick. What's the dog thing of Pandemic Legacy? <laughs> nope. <laughs> Pick away. Pick away. Yeah. Vertical, horizontal. Pick away. Like, I understand why? the stuffing stuff in. That's totally fine. Sure, but like, that's just natural. We got this shelf over here with Tobago and Cotton Ball. No. That's listen, horizontal. Listen, listen, listen. It's all vertical, except, except for the one shelf. There's one shelf where you said like, no, nah, this way. Nah, nah, this is my is life, Is that no. shelf part of some extended experiment where you're like, well, I wonder if over 30 years, if they are on their sides versus this way, which one actually holds up better? They start compressing into one game? Does that one shelf of horizontal games provide structure for the rest of the games? Overall, great games. I do know whose shelf this is. We do have very similar tasting games. Although I'm curious, what's in this box up here? Uh, it's, it's a bread box thing. There's a loaf of bread there. <laughs> I'm gonna give this. Um, uh, I'm gonna give this four out of five. Disappointed rut rows from your dog specifically. <laughs> rut row. All right, it's four and a half. Four out of five disappointed rut rows. But come on, Evie helps. This is just nice. This is cozy. It, it, everyone's just all. Hmm. Yeah. The nice house plants. You know that's a slippery couch though, right? <laughs> But man, this is a nice space. I'm it's not gonna nice lie. Space. This is a nice space. I like Here's the plants. The Here's the thing, though. This is just a personal qualm. This is this is a person who's in their in their mid 30s problems. What I'm not seeing here, game table. What I'm seeing here, converted coffee table. What I'm seeing there is achy back. Yeah. Playing a board game like this. Like but great. They might have a table. Somewhere. No, they don't. They put it in the picture. Shouts out to the board games. And the wood. <laughs> and, the, <laughs> and the wood. I know you're right next to a fireplace. For sure. I but get I do. It. Some good games on here. Again, over here, pick a pick a direction. Pick a direction. Vertical. Horizontal. It's all over the place. 
Well, no, pick a direction, pick vertical. Pick, oh, but yes, pick vertical for sure. Like, let's just put that. That is there. the only direction to store your games. All right, so I'm gonna rate this a, a $231.43 bill from the chiropractor. That's what I'm gonna be rating this. Okay. Uh, you know, because, and I'm sending that to you, direct. Printer, printer. You tried to hide it. You tried to turn it sideways. You tried to like make it. How you even print quiet. out of this printer? How you even print out of that thing? The Encyclopedia of Cajun and Creole Cuisine. That's probably a great cookbook though. It's probably great, but I like it. It's exactly the same dimensions and, and articulation as Veiled Faith. They're like cooking <laughs> and this. Indeed. A water bottle in a plant pot. <laughs> <laughs> I'm also so curious. What's this? Is it land? Gand of Doom? Sand of Doom? Band of Doom? What is this game? <laughs> The game itself, this is, it looks like a newer collection, I'm guessing. Uh, yeah. Um, all this, you get a mix of these, like, kind of older games. the vibes of, like, we're newer to the hobby, maybe. Yeah, have our older games that we had since we were kids, like, whatever, this Band of Doom or whatever like, it is. Like, you haven't gotten, this is a good thing. Keep this way. Stay pure. You haven't gotten to the point where you get rid of Clue, the classic edition. Yes. You're still proudly displaying that. Yes. Honestly, we've gotten rid of our Clues. We hide our Clues in the closet. Stay proud, okay? Stay proud. It's important. We all got here somehow, some way. Indeed. Um, but also, like, as always, clean it up, tighten it up, <laughs> tighten it up, tighten. <laughs> and can I get the link for where you got that uh, Creole that and Cajun really uh, cookbook, please? I'm gonna give this one. Um, oof! I'm gonna give this one. Ooh, twelve and a half. Uh, perfectly seasoned gumbos. Ooh. Okay. Let's not even talk about the board games. We see the shelf. It looks nice. Let's go top left real quick. Yeah. Just yeah. zoom right in on that. Yeah. What? What is this? Is, it, is this doll protecting a family? <laughs> or are they haunting a family? Who, what, and why? And what do we need to do to lift the curse? <laughs> They've got thigh-high crochet socks and absolutely nothing else, very much including a head. You got thigh highs on, nothing else. We don't kink shame, do you? <laughs> you gotta bring a head. Just get a head on there. Here's the thing, everything else about this, great. So this new deal, this does not fill up this. You gotta get something else in here. It's also, who hurt you though? <laughs> Are you okay? I dare not rate this one because <laughs> if you do, then the curse comes to you. Ooh. I feel like you gave up. I feel like this one, you, you had shelves, were trying to do stuff, and then you gave up after a while. Like, if you go into that five tribe shelf. Yeah. Like you have what so happened? much space on this shelf. There's so much space, and then there's just bags on the ground, but you have the god dang Pokeballs stacked up. I feel like you were unpacking this, and then a tornado warning went off, uh, yeah. and you had to get in the basement, and you just never remembered to come back. Yeah, I think it wasn't like 30 minutes. 30 minutes, reorganize your shelves. You can get everything on these shelves. You have yeah, so you much have space so here. Much space. The games itself are fine. You know, there's some good stuff in yeah, here. Some sure. okay stuff in here. I do like the Lord of the Rings Monopoly. That's always that's, nice. That's fire right there. Um, but yeah, just uh, you know, take, take an hour. Take an hour, clean her up, <laughs> and then we'll be good. <laughs> Come back and we'll try again. All righty, Mikey. This one is just, first of all, I want to know, if this is your sh shelf, what's in this board game wish list? What's in here? All right. What's number one? If it, Frankly, I love this idea. include play a game with the Brothers Murph somewhere in there? I'm bummed. I'm a little, I'm a little bummed. bummed. I'm a little bummed. All right. I'm jealous of the drop mix. I, I wanted to buy that so many times. I, I never did. You need it. Again, same thing. Choose a direction. Choose a direction. Choose a direction. Choose a direction. We got like a, a lot of good games here. Yeah. Dinosaur Island, you know, Cascadia, Caverna, Role Player, Scythe, Gloomhaven. Justin Bieber Backstage Pass! Oh! Never mind. You get a thousand out of ten. There is you no. Win. You win. There is no judgment against this shelf. This shelf nope. is perfect. There are no questions. Oh my god! Asked. I didn't see that. It is the best shelf I've ever seen. Frankly, my only note is it's that game is way too low on the shelf. Get it up top. Get it up top. All right. So that is a couple of shelves here. Again, we got way, 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 way more. Uh, we could do this every couple months, pretty much. And so, again, if you like this video, please, please, please give it a thumb up. We had a lot of fun here. Hopefully, you all had some fun, too, as we just kind of jokingly poke fun at, at mostly not the games. No. The ga cause, uh, again, They're all the fine. games are fire. Yeah. But that is it for this board game roast. Thank you so much for everyone submitting. We really appreciate you guys having some fun with your shelves. These are all great uh, yeah. and amazing. If you want to have a shelf potentially get roasted someday by us, hit us in the email below. Take some pictures. Uh, add as much weird crap around <laughs> yeah, as possible. Really, like, 
don't stage it necessarily, but don't necessarily clean it up. Don't leave something that like in, like insinuates you committed a crime. <laughs> you know what I mean? But other the than person that, with that doll in there, they've killed at least ten people. Well, the doll did, but they did. That's, that's First right, thing, the right. picture is just you know the victim. <laughs> All right, we'll see you later, everybody.